and I'm the Religious Education Assistant at the First Unitarian Church of Salt Lake City. Today on UU of the Week, we are going to learn about UU minister and social justice advocate Homer Jack. The Reverend Homer Jack was a Unitarian Universalist minister from Rochester, New York. He was born in the year 1919 and died in 1993. Homer Jack was an outspoken and effective activist and organizer for racial equality and social justice. Social justice and religion were a bit of a family business for Homer Jack. Both of his parents knew and worked with Susan B. Anthony, and Homer later married Esther, who was the daughter of the local Unitarian minister. As a result, Jack heard the call to become a Unitarian minister himself and began working on his degree in 1940, graduating from Meadville in 1944. During this time, Homer and Esther had two children. Homer Jack served as a minister in a few places after that, but it never quite fit. When he began working for Chicago Council Against Racial and Religious Discrimination, he finally found his calling to build a coalition of organizations that would work together on racial and religious matters. At this time in America, white and black people were deeply divided, not just socially, but by Jim Crow laws, which claimed to keep the races separate but equal, although this was rarely the case, if ever. Homer Jack made it his life's work to make sure that Americans were equal, regardless of their skin color. He worked for equality in land ownership, education, and transportation. In 1946, Homer Jack helped organize a journey for reconciliation. 16 people, half of them black and half of them white, rode buses, sitting anywhere they wanted. And this sounds silly today, but back then this was against the law. Black people could only sit at the back of the bus. Each time the bus crossed state lines on the journey for reconciliation, the 16 riders got arrested over and over again. This demonstration was widely covered in the press, and later it became the model for the Freedom Riders, who eventually helped desegregate the buses in America. In 1956, Homer Jack met the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. at the Montgomery bus boycott. They became dear friends. Dr. King even asked Homer Jack to preach to his congregation at the Ebenezer Baptist Church in Atlanta. Dr. King said of his friend in 1959, Homer Jack is certainly one of the most dedicated persons that I have ever met. He combines the fact-finding mind of a social scientist with the great insights of a religious prophet. That's quite a compliment in my book. Homer Jack continued his work for racial justice, traveling all over the world and creating change. He was occasionally caught up in the already tense race relations within the UUA, but overall he ended his career with many prestigious awards and honors. The Reverend Dr. Homer Alexander Jack died of pancreatic cancer in 1993. But we are so happy to add his biography to our growing UU of the Week collection. To learn more about other fascinating Unitarian Universalists, go to uuoftheweek.org. Thank you for joining me, and we'll see you next time.